Hi, I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer with ReadTheStars.com. This is your weekly horoscopes at work for April 25th through May 1st, 2016. And yep, that's right, I'm wearing it. The dreaded Mercury Retrograde t-shirt. Mercury Retrograde begins this week, folks. I did tell you a little bit about it last week, so don't say you were not warned. But it's coming in full force. It will begin officially on Thursday at 1.20 p.m., so um, this is a, a week, the first three days of the week are going to be a time when we want to prepare for that. Back up the computers, take care of the cars, and just, you know, this is going to be a very sticky Mercury retrograde because it is in Taurus. So it's moving very slowly. People are going to be very stubborn. People are going to bring up uh, arguments from years ago that um, you thought were resolved. And I think it's really important under these circumstances for us to try to put things in the past as much as possible. And um, while we can learn from our past mistakes, certainly, we can also look to the future with fresh, um, fresh set of eyes, so to speak. Okay, so that's the biggest news by far. We also have Venus moving into Taurus. That'll happen on um, Friday at 8.36 p.m. And um, that is going to make people more sensual and um, wanting to have physical comfort. And so if you're in that kind of a business where you're offering people physical comfort, this is a very good time for them to receive it. People will make purchases that they may not make in other times of the year because um, Venus in Taurus will make them just want to have those creature comforts. So that's pretty good. With that said, um, I want you also to remember that Mars is in retrograde going back through Sagittarius and Scorpio. And um, this also is going to hold us, hold our speed down a little bit. Saturn and Pluto are also retrograde, but that's not so unusual. They're, they're retrograde this time of the year, you know, for several months. And we, we deal with this all the time. But the Mars retrograde and the Mercury retrograde at the same time can be a little bit tricky. So let's try to hang in there and start with Monday, April 25th. The um, moon will be in Sagittarius. People will wake up in a really great mood, very active um, you're going to have people chasing down their dreams and really feeling very optimistic. The danger in this is that when things slow down um, later in the week and later on in the month and later on into May, uh, there could be some disappointment. But that, don't, don't let that stop you from, you know, really looking at the big picture and seeing what your possibilities are. The day will end with the moon coming into a conjunction with Saturn. And um, that will make people feel detached and um, maybe not as emotional as they were for the rest of the day. Moon goes void, of course, on Tuesday from 11.51 a.m. to 7.54 p.m. So you're going to want to be very careful during that afternoon period on Tuesday and not get yourself too, you know, fixed on getting things done. Be willing to wait. Be willing to just accept whatever comes along. You're going to feel very stagnated and stopped. Wednesday, best day of the week for doing business by far with the moon in Capricorn. And also there'll be a nice um, kind of energy exchange between the sun and the moon and also Jupiter and the moon. So it'll be like this little triangle in the sky of good luck and optimism. So do that uh, preparation work. You know, whether you do it Tuesday or Wednesday, Wednesday is like when you're really going to be able to feel good about doing it and feel confident. Um, that will be another word that I think would describe the energy on Wednesday, confidence. Thursday, we have the Capricorn moon continuing with a conjunction to Pluto. People will want what they want when they want it, and they will tell you so. Um, Mercury will station to retrograde at 1.20 p.m., so um, you will notice it. You will notice, you know, be like, you know, your computer's not working the same, your phone's not working the same, start to forget things. You have to be very methodical when Mercury is in retrograde. We must really try to take things one step by one step as, as uh, the day goes on. On uh, Friday, we will have the moon void, of course, just for a little blip in the middle of the night on the East Coast from 3.07 to 4.47 a.m. And Venus will go into Taurus at 8.36 p.m. on Friday. Not a bad day. The weekend also looks rather good. We'll have the moon in Aquarius, which is excellent for group activities and anything that has to do with politics. And there's a little bit of that going on these days. So um, anything that has to do with gathering the community, getting people together to work on a common cause is going to go well for you on the weekend, both on Saturday and, well, Sunday, a little bit different. Sunday, we're going to have a void, of course, moon in the morning, and then at 10.33 a.m., it slips into Pisces, and people will be a little bit more dreamy. And also with the sun making a nice aspect to Neptune, 
that dreamy sort of lazy energy is going to take in for May 1st. So I think that, you know, by and large, it's going to be a great week as long as you're watching out for all of the things, including the Mercury retrograde. Next week, we have a new moon to look forward to. We'll talk about that the next time I see you. In the meantime, if you would like to consult with me, you can always do that by reaching me through Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com. I'll be at Journeys of Life this week from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Um, you can reach them at 412-681-8755 for an appointment. Thursday night, I am speaking for the Pittsburgh East Suburban Spiritual Group. And that's going to take place at the Hosses out in Murraysville, for those of you here in the Pittsburgh area. And then on Friday, I'm doing a very special event, a tea for the, um, the Bethel Park Library out in the South Hills. So I hope to see you there. All these great opportunities to, to see you all in the, in the public. I am available for entertainment and, um, and information, as well as private consultations, hypnotherapy, and coaching. So um, however you want to do it, in whatever combination, I am here to serve your highest and best good. So please contact me again. That's Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.